Good morning from the NASDAQ market side in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Wednesday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Now, coming up today, mortgage applications are released. Also, Media General's board is said to be close to endorsing Nexstar's takeover offer, and Cox signs a deal with Comcast to license video technology. Well, New York's Attorney General is telling DraftKings and FanDuel to stop taking entries in New York. AG Eric Schneiderman says they are gambling sites and illegal in the state. Fantasy sports companies contend that their games are not gambling because they involve more skill than luck. Lanheiserbusch InBev said overnight it had completed an agreement to acquire its closest rival SAB Miller for about $105 billion. The deal was reached after a month of negotiations and it would create a behemoth in the beer industry with annual revenue of about $64 billion. It would give Anheuser-Busch InBev more exposure in faster growing emerging markets, particularly in Africa and Latin America. SAB Miller said that it would sell its 58% stake in Miller Coors in the United United States to its joint venture partner Molson Coors for about 12 billion to get regulatory approval. And Alibaba busts its singles day sales record. It's the world's biggest shopping day spree. Now, analysts believe sales could exceed 13 billion dollars at Alibaba. The impressive numbers are undoubtedly a boom for the company, which has previously struggled with mobile strategy amid rising competition from other internet giants. And that is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com at the Nasdaq market site in time Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.